Hi, hi, it's me, Chia. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm Chia Zoe, the fantasy author of Memory of Stone series with the book one and two currently available in stores. I'm also a writing mentor and an author tuber. So I was thinking of what other points and lessons and tips to share. And I realized that with all my talk of self-publishing and traditional publishing, that I've never really just talked about why I chose to self-publish. I've mentioned one or two reasons here and there in different videos, but I've never just said these are the reasons I chose to self-publish. So in this video, I would like to address why I chose to self-publish and what comes next or what my decision and process will be going forward. My first reason why I chose to self-publish is the exclusive demand for the Nigerian or cultural experience, i.e. my story wasn't black enough. Most traditional publishing houses in Nigeria are used to the Nigerian experience, writing about your the journey, like going through life in Nigeria, going through life in Lagos, so things like that. So when I brought um, a work that wasn't that, there was interest in the type of story, but they requested me to change it to be very the Nigerian experience centered. And that was not what my work was about. And I just knew that I couldn't make that kind of change to not be my story anymore. And it just made sense that if the publishing houses were not going to accept my story as it was, as it was intended, then self-publishing might just be a better option for me. The second reason was lack of fantasy representation in publishing in Nigeria. In my, to my knowledge, most Nigerian fantasy writers are writers that are outside the country and bringing their books to the country. And those are the ones that get any sort of interest from people. And I just felt that even as much as I'm, as much as they deserve to succeed in their own right, it just felt like we were ignoring a lot of Nigerians within the country who had different stories to tell. And I wanted my story, I wanted my fantasy stories to be told in Nigeria. I didn't want to have to go through outside to make it important enough to be sold in Nigeria. I wanted it to be important already in Nigeria just because it's a good story, a good work of fantasy. And I knew that with the lack of interest in with publishing houses, um, taking on works of sci-fi, fantasy, stuff like that, that I would have to self-publish it and push it to the best of my ability to get fantasy on the publishing map in Nigeria. The third reason was lack of qualification to edit specific genres. Again, I, this is like a trickle down effect scene. Um, if Nigerian publishers are only accepting the Nigerian experience and therefore not accepting fantasy, they therefore don't have editors who work with fantasy books. And obviously in order to publish a good work of fiction, your editor know, has to know what that topic is about. Um, editors in Nigeria, I would say, edit broadly because we write more based in life in Nigeria kind of experiences. So editing doesn't have to be like mastered, but like you have to master specific areas. But in order to write a good work of romance, a good work of sci-fi, a good work of fantasy, thriller, there are like nuances, details, the specificity of things that need to be known that to edit those things to the way that it makes sense for the genre and makes sense for the writer. And because we don't have that, I couldn't trust my work with um, a traditional publisher because in traditional publishing, you don't really get to pick your editors. They might switch an editor for you if they have more than one editor in their staff, but you don't get to really pick your editors. And if I cannot say I want a specific editor to edit my book because they know fantasy, then it's better and then I'm better off finding someone who edits fantasy. And once you get into the editing part of publishing, it's not the full thing of self-publishing, but it's like a huge, huge, huge aspect of the publication process. So if I'm going to be paying for your own editor, then there's little points going through the traditional publishing. And the fourth reason is I want to be in control of my own work. I'm a very um, particular person. I like things done a certain way, somewhat of a perfectionist. And I just, when you write a book, it's even hard to give your book to other people to read it because it's like, 
that thing you created that is your precious thing and you don't want someone else to take that away change what it is so just the idea of giving the work i spend so much time and energy on to someone else to take charge of the process was so scary for me and i just thought i can't i can't there's so many unknowns i don't understand what's going on and i don't know if i can trust you with my work especially in a situation where the publishers don't handle fantasy i don't know what they're going to do with my work and i like being in control oh my gosh so i just knew you know what traditional publishing might be too much of a step like even if you're growing and trying to do certain things and trying to do new things it just might be too big a step for you at this point so i just like you know what for memory of stone for variety of old I'm going to self-publish it. It's fine. I would handle it. I would take on the burden of it. Just to make sure it is exactly what I want it to be. And the fifth and final reason why I chose to self-publish is because of I wanted to learn the publishing process in Nigeria because of the lack of information available here. And honestly, like as a writer, you don't need to get that involved in knowing where the ink is from, how to use the ink, how to cut the paper. All of that, you don't need to learn all of that, but because of there's not even information easily available where you just know, oh, this is the process that is used to print in Nigeria or publish in Nigeria. I didn't want to just, and again, I guess this also ties into my need to control. I didn't want to just leave my work with a traditional publisher when I didn't know anything. I feel like to some degree it's not like it's just for a personal thing i just feel like there'll be some lack of responsibility on my part if i knew nothing about the process and just like say take my work handle it and i'll take whatever i get i think it's important to know details know just where the paper is coming from or how come the charge goes up this time of year and goes down this time of year and just different details. Where is your ISBN coming from? Do you get your own ISBN? What is the responsibility? What is really like the details of different types of contracts? Just what are you giving up? What are you gaining? As a writer, I need to know the different aspects from the making process to the financial process to the marketing process. And when you self-publish, you get to, you're learning on the job. You get to ask all these questions. You go through trial and error. And also that's what my videos are about, doing the learning process, then letting you know about it so that you don't need to go through all the trial and error so that you have the information before you go into publishing your book. So yes, getting to know more about the publishing industry as a whole was important for me, even if I don't get so involved. I just need to know enough that will make me comfortable enough to either publish my book myself or leave my book in someone else's hands. There are other reasons why someone can choose to self-publish. Um, there are some other reasons that I chose to self-publish, but or, or rather some other reasons that made me sh sure I made the right decision when I made the decision. But these are the five major reasons why I went with self-publishing. All that being said, publishing is improving in Nigeria. There are publishing houses that are putting in more efforts to accept different kinds of fiction and non-fiction. Therefore, they are working harder to grow. They are getting better cover designers, getting more experienced editors, editors that can handle different things. Things are changing in the Nigerian publishing industry. And I am so excited for that because it's been like this thing at the back of my head, like, oh, Nigerian industry, publishing industry is difficult, blah, blah, blah. But now I can say Nigerian publishing industry is growing well. And because of I am beginning to have more trust with the Nigerian publishing industry, I would like to traditionally publish some of my works. A Memory of Stone series, obviously, I think it would be best for me to keep handling that. With the book three in the works, I would also be self-publishing that one. Or at least I believe I will self-publish it. Never know, last minute changes always happen. But I think I'll be self-publishing the book three of Memory of Stone series. My other works, I would want to self-publish some of them, but some I would love to throw my hat in the ring, so to say, and see if I can traditionally publish any of my works. And when I do get that traditional publishing contract, 
I will let you know and it will be an exciting next step for me in my writing and publishing journey. I hope that with the points I raised, you'll be able to tell if self-publishing is right for you now or later or if you rather go through traditional publishing. I hope that you make the choice that is right for you and not one that you think or one that you're pressured into making because if you don't have enough information. So that is it for my video today. If you've liked this video, if it's been helpful to you anyways, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and also share this video with as many people as you can. Many writers, aspiring writers out there that need this information, I hope that they get it. So please do share this video with whoever you know is interested in writing, is interested in getting their rating works out there. Let them make educated decisions. Let them not just jump into the publishing and have a really tough time. I honestly hope Nigerian writers succeed. So again, yes, that is my video. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.